Before Melody and I retired, for 15 years we made Canaan Valley, West Virginia, the last camping trip of the season. I hope you enjoyed this video on things to do in Canaan Valley, West Virginia. Check out our latest RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront, link in video description. For this portion of the video, I'll be using Google Earth. Our first destination is mountain trail rides in Canaan Valley, West Virginia. Melody and I have taken trail rides, um, over a dozen of them over the years. Our last visit to mountain trail rides was in June of 2022. They're under new ownership and we introduce you to the new owners. Uh, Kelsey from Mountain Trail Rides, we have her on video. We also show you some footage uh, from our trail ride in June of 2022. This is located right off of uh, West Virginia Route 32. This is West Virginia Route 32 right here. This is Freeland Road and Mountain Trail Rides is uh, located right here. Let's cut to the video. Melody and I have taken horseback rides with mountain trail rides in Canaan Valley, West Virginia over a dozen times over the last 15 years. Today we're going on another ride. Mountain trail rides in Canaan Valley, West Virginia sits on a scenic piece of real estate. Check this out. Melody and I really enjoy these horseback rides in Canaan Valley, West Virginia. And they have a pretty nice gift shop inside as well. Back here is where they keep the horses. Mountain Trail Rides has new owners, Kelsey and Travis. And I have Kelsey here with me today. Kelsey, can you tell us a little bit about the trail rides? Okay, so we offer um, different trail rides. Our two hour is the longest ride that we offer right now. Um, and we go pretty high up on the mountain. There's wonderful views, a lot of wildlife to see. Um, and that one is probably my favorite. Next, we have the hour and a half. That one goes almost as far up as we can go on the mountain. Um, and there's also some pretty views. All of our rides offer a wide variety of scenic views um, and lots of wildlife. We also offer an hour ride, um, which is very good for kids um, or beginners. And then we offer a half hour ride for people that just aren't sure and want to just try it out before they go on a long ride. But um, we have a lot to offer here. Come visit us at Mountain Trail Rides here in beautiful Canaan Valley, West Virginia. This is an extra special way to experience Canaan Valley, West Virginia. This is gorgeous. Canaan Valley truly is its own special slice of West Virginia. Our next destination is right up the road at Canaan Valley National Wildlife Refuge. We're going to the visitor center. It's a newly refurbished visitor center. I think you'll find it interesting. Melody and I sure do. Let's cut to the video. 
If you visit Canaan Valley, West Virginia, you have to stop at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Visitor Center just off of uh, West Virginia Route 32. This is a brand new visitor center, and boy, is it nice. Well, Melody's checking the sign out, and uh, when did you say they're closed, Todd? Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Closed Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're here all week, so we are going to come back to the newly refurbished Canaan Valley U.S. Wildlife Service Visitor Center. It is a gorgeous day today. Um, yeah, they did a really nice job on this visitor center. They have the hours off to the left here. I'll put those on the uh, screen for you. Well, we came back on Wednesday. Visitor center is open and today they have maps out here. Well, this is the inside of the visitor center at Canaan Valley National Wildlife Refuge. Well, this is a first for me. This is something I have not seen in any visitor center before. This is a uh, automated relief map where you can choose what you want to see. So let's, uh, let's check activities. And we press here on activities. And vernal pools, wildlife blinds. Let's check that out. And there you see the wildlife blinds within the National Wildlife Refuge. Pretty darn cool. And the young lady in there told us that there is a nature trail right behind the visitor center. That's where we're going now. Here we go. So this is pretty cool. It's called the Pollinator Hotel. But the critters like that thing. And the walking trail goes out to this pond. And off in the distance, you can see. Canaan Valley Resorts Lodge up on the hill, the outdoor pool and recreational facilities in the foreground. The Canaan Valley National Wildlife Center Visitor Center and Nature Trail definitely are worth checking out. I have an assistant here today. And right now we are currently located at the refuge headquarters and visitor center. And right now we're gonna take you up, uh, it's a short drive away to Freeland Road. And up on Freeland Road, there's the Freeland Trail. That's where we're going now. Another must-see attraction if you're coming to Canaan Valley, West Virginia. Well, that's a Dolly Sods up on that hill. And right now we're at Freeland Trail. It's part of the Canaan Valley National Wildlife Refuge. They have a paved parking area here. That road right here is Freeland Road. It'll take you down to West Virginia Route 32. And since we've been, uh, since the last time that we were on this trail, they've completely rebuilt the boardwalk. And there's new signage up. They're really taking care of the place. Canaan Valley National Wildlife Refuge, Freeland Trail. And this is a boardwalk that makes a loop. It's a short, uh, it's a short loop. It is handicap accessible. Let's go check out Freeland Trail. So here's where the loop ties in. This is really nice. They put seating in. There's a raised platform dead ahead. There's nice new steel seating. And 
this area right here, you can see where the spring comes up out of the ground. And you can even see, if you look real close, it's bubbling up through the dirt there. You see all those, those bubbles coming up out of the ground? That's the underground spring. This looks totally different in the fall. That's when we usually come to Canaan Valley. And there goes a deer. You see that deer going? Well, it is a National Wildlife Refuge. This is a popular trail for birders. There's a few birders out here this morning. He comes to that duck. Can't believe how close that deer came to that duck. This is a unique type of pine. I, and they used to have a sign up here. I told you what kind of pine this was. But uh, it only grows in... Uh, like northern Canadian climates and they do have a northern Canadian subalpine climate here in Canaan Valley, West Virginia. It's very unique. And there's a whole stand of these pine up here. Let's see if they still have that uh, exhibit up here. So this is the area where that st stand of pine I was telling you about is located. And boy, they've really, they've really uh, made a lot of improvements. They have seats, very nice seats. This, uh, this stand of pine right here, they fenced off to protect from the deer. And it looks like there is a storyboard up here that tells you about the what type of pine this is. Let's go check that out. Okay, but they do have a storyboard here. And let's zoom in on it. And it's called the Canaan Fir. Will it survive? Canaan's Valley balsam fir are a part of the northern plant communities found here because of the valley's cool, mo moist climate and high elevation. This uh, loop trail is short, handicap accessible, and it gives you a sampling of what you'll find up on top of Dolly Sods. Dolly Sods is truly, truly spectacular. And the elevation here in Canaan Valley, elevation 4,280 feet, and I suspect that's up on the uh, side of the mountain up there on, on Dolly Sods. Our next destination is Northland Loop Trail, located in Dolly Sods Wilderness. This is a short drive from Canaan Valley. This is Forest Road 75. And this, this uh, Northland Loop, it makes a loop through some very interesting terrain. Uh, I, I find it uh, an exceptional short trail in the Canaan Valley area. That's why we're showing it to you here. Let's cut to the video. If you're wondering what Forest Road 75 looks like, here's a nice vantage point looking straight down Dolly Sods, heading north.
That's Forest Road 75, and where my truck is sitting is the parking area for the North Land Loop Nature Trail. Let's go check it out. In the National Forest marker says this is site number two. This Northland Loop Trail is lush. It's a short trail, but wow, is it pretty. I was up in the same spot, oh, four or five years ago in the fall. I'll put some photographs up that I took in the fall. You can compare and contrast. The Northland Nature Trail is definitely worth checking out. Gives you an idea how lush it is. This is the area that I call the stream of rocks. You'll see why in a minute. Look at that. Very interesting geology. And you see how the rocks make like a like a stream going back through there. Dolly Sods, West Virginia is the most favorite place I have in West Virginia. It is my absolute favorite. The scenery here is absolutely stunning. It appears that even the Monongahela National Forest calls this area Rivers of Rock. Our next destination is the Blackwater River Trail in Canaan Valley State Park. You're going to find the Blackwater River Trail. Let me pan over a little bit. Here's the Blackwater River up in here. This is the Canaan Valley Resort Golf Course. And right adjacent to the golf course is where you're going to find the trailhead for the Blackwater River Trail. Let's cut to the video. When visiting Canaan Valley, don't miss the Blackwater River Trail at Canaan Valley State Park. This is just one of the views of the Blackwater River you'll have from the Blackwater River Trail here within Canaan Valley State Park. Melody and I walk this short trail every time we come to Canaan Valley. But it even gets more interesting. Let me take you down the river. As you progress down the Blackwater River Trail, you'll come to this grouping of rocks. They remind me of tombstones, but check out how these rocks have naturally worn. This looks, it looks like rows of tombstones. And adjacent to these rocks, you'll find a beaver dam. Let's go down and check out the beaver dam. Well, Mr. Beaver's been busy, huh, hon? It's bigger than it was back in September. Yeah, there's, there's some green stuff in there, too, so they must have been recently active. That is a big old beaver dam. And when Melody and I take this trail, we frequently see uh, photography classes. There's, the, the place is just... Um, amazing. Even if you just take pictures with your phone. This 
Blackwater River Trail is a real treat. And if you're lucky, like we are today, you'll come out here on the Blackwater River Trail and have the whole place to yourself. The Blackwater River Trail at Canaan Valley State Park truly is worth a visit. Our next destination is Ellica Trail in Blackwater Falls State Park. You'll find the trailhead located right next to the Blackwater Falls Lodge right here. The trailhead's right here in Ellica Falls, is, uh, just down over the hill. It is a beautiful, uh, both the trail, upper and lower parts of the trail, as well as the falls. Let's cut to the video. When visiting Canaan Valley, don't miss Ellica Falls at Blackwater Falls State Park. Ellica Falls Trail is also a good hike here within Blackwater Falls State Park. You'll find the entrance to Ellica Falls Trail right next to the Blackwater Falls Lodge. standing right above Ellica Falls, but you can walk down the stream a little ways and there's a vantage point of the falls. That's where we're going now. This is gorgeous in here, along the Ellica Falls walking trail. We're above the falls, and this is really some spectacular scenery. Ellica Falls Trail and Ellica Falls Another must-see attraction here within Blackwater Falls State Park. I wonder how many people miss Ellica Trail and Ellica Falls and Blackwater Falls State Park. That's why I covered it in this video. Our next destination is going to be within the Monongahela National Forest on Canaan Loop Road. There's free dispersed camping up on uh, Canaan Loop Road. I take you to one of the campsites. There's a trailhead there with some spectacular scenery and just down the road from the, tr the trailhead that I'm going to take you to is a uh, pretty neat fishing spot. So without further ado, let's cut to the video. Canaan Loop Road in the Monongahela National Forest offers free dispersed camping, hiking, backpacking, and fishing. Enjoy this short video clip. Okay, this is the Allegheny Trailhead, goes down toward Canaan Valley. Uh, it says Canaan Valley State Park Boundary, 1.4 miles. Um, 
I've been out that trail before uh, for a little ways here. It uh, they have like a uh, kind of like a boardwalk made. Um, I'll go back and take a walk down there. I think some of you might want to see that. But let's check the dispersed camping area out here. Okay. Tucker County. You are here. Name Mountain Backcountry, Monongahela National Forest. And that's where we are on the map. And one day this summer, maybe even spring, I'm going to come out here and hike out to Table Rock Overlook. That, that is a popular um, overlook in this part of the forest. And uh, you can catch a trail just down the road here, Lindy Run Trail to Plantation Trail, and then on to Table Rock Overlook Trail. So, and these maps are available. That particular map, the backcountry map, is available on the National Forest website on the Monongahela National Forest. But yeah, that's a sweet little camping spot here. Have to be considerate of others so you don't take up the whole thing. You know, it's a trailhead. But, uh, Sweet little camping area they got here. And you got plenty of space. Right across the street from the Allegheny Trail Trailhead, where my truck is parked. Uh, there's some campsites back in here in a wooded area if you wanted to tent camp. have a little bit of privacy away from the trailhead. I'm going to take a quick walk back here and show you that uh, just uh, some few steps into the Allegheny Trail. It's just gorgeous. Right, we take our 38 foot fifth wheel and uh, our travel trailer before that. We had come up every year, last camping trip of the year to Canaan Valley State Park. It's our favorite state park. And uh, they have hookups and everything down there. It's not far from here. And uh, we'd do day hikes and come up here. One of many, many gorgeous trails in Tucker County. But, uh, this really lights up in the fall. Cranberry glades, you can see the cranberries. They look to be cranberries to me. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Anyway, that trail will take you clear down the Canaan Valley State Park. be pretty soggy like I say we've had like five straight days of rain so uh, hence you got all this water but uh, even normally normal spring you would have lots of water up here okay let's get back in the truck you see this is uh, the Forest Service maintains this road Haven't run into any accessibility issues other than, you know, some in some places it's a one lane road. Um, Red Run fly fishing area. I can 
surely see why they call it a red run. Man, that's pretty. I hope you enjoyed this list of things to do while you're in the Canaan Valley area. I can't think of a better way to close this video than to leave you with images of Blackwater Falls in Tucker County, West Virginia. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.